In this tutorial, I'm going to move a WordPress website from one host to a new host called SiteGround. Now, moving a WordPress site is not always easy, if you do it manually anyway, because you've got a database to work with. It's easy to move website files, you know, using FTP and that kind of stuff, file manager. But when you're working with WordPress, it's a little trickier because of the database. So the advantage of SiteGround is that they've got a special tool that makes this super, super simple compared to doing it manually. So let's uh, start. So this is the website that's on the old host. We're gonna move this WordPress site to the new one. So haven't done anything yet, except I wanna do a couple of preliminary things in this existing website's WordPress. We're gonna go make sure that the email address associated with it is the right one. And I know that it is, but I just wanna double check because we're gonna get emails in the process and so I wanna make sure they go to the right place. And then the other thing I've already done, but I'll show you what I did, is I installed something called SiteGround Migrator, and I just went to the plugin area here, installed plugins, and I added a new plugin. It's easy to do. You just go add new. I looked for a plugin called SiteGround Migrator. It came up. I installed it, activated it. Boom, there it is. So this is the SiteGround Migrator. This is the software that's going to move this WordPress site from the old host to the new SiteGround account. So we're set up in that sense, we're ready to go. Okay, now let's go over to SiteGround and make sure we have a hosting account for this uh, website to land on. So in my SiteGround account, I'm gonna add a new website because I haven't yet. And let's see, we're going to use an existing domain. New domain means I wanna register a new one and start over. I already got a domain for this because it's a site that's already up on another host. So we're gonna choose an existing domain, meaning we already have one. We're going to paste that in there. Don't need all that stuff. Just the domain itself will do. And what we're doing is we're going to uh, migrate a site, obviously. So we're going to go like this. Super fast WordPress auto migration. Easy way to do it. Fast and free. Select that and continue. They're asking if I want to add a particular feature called site scanner. I don't at this point. I'm just going to continue on or finish and it's going to create a web hosting account here for this particular domain. Okay, so we're all set, as you can see. Now, let me explain a couple of things here. It asks me if I need to download the plugin to put on my old website. I don't, I don't need to do that because I've already done that, as I said. But I do need this thing called a migration token. We're gonna to copy this long string of characters. We're gonna put that in the migration software so it knows what to do. That'll make more sense in a minute. And then we are not going to point the domain yet. In other words, we don't want this website to show on SiteGround just yet because we haven't moved it there yet. It still needs to be up on the other host. So we're going to do this step last. So the first thing we want to do is copy this migration token, just like that. And then we're going to go to the um, old website where I have the SiteGround migrator. We're going to go like this and click on that. And it's going to ask me for that token. Here it is. I'm going to paste that in there like this. And let's put an email. It says it's optional, but I like to make sure I'm getting notifications along the way, just in case we need to know what's going on. And we're going to simply start the migration. The migration is going to take a few minutes and it's going to give us a couple bits of information while it's doing it. But I'll probably pause the video here so you don't have to sit through this whole thing. This is a fairly small website, so it's probably not going to take very long. You can already see it's downloaded about half of the files already. It's taken a few minutes, but not very long. So it downloaded the files from the old server and now it's actually starting the migration. So it's moving them onto the new SiteGround account for this domain and it's done. Okay, so this is very important. We're gonna stop right here because this is important to note. So what's happened is the old website is still on the old server. What it did was it moved a copy of it to the new server and the old uh, website is still displaying on the old server because we haven't pointed the domain to SiteGround yet. And the reason we haven't, because there wasn't a website there. But now we basically have a website in two places, the old server and the new server. So now when we point the domain, it will look at the one on the new server. That's why we do that last. Okay, let's go over back into SiteGround and see what's going on. Okay, so back in my SiteGround account, here is the website that we added. And we're going to see if there's anything in it. That's easy to do. We're just going to look at the site tools and it'll tell us what's going on here. First of all, it's using some disk space. So obviously the files move. And same thing here. This information tells us that there's actual files over here. And so we're pretty much good to go. Now, if you're not sure, you can actually go use the temporary domain that they created for you. Just, I didn't need to do that because I know that they're here. 
but SiteGround can help you with that. And it's really not necessary. The next step now is to now point this domain to the new SiteGround server. And what I need are name servers for that. And you'll notice right here inside my dashboard for this domain, they tell me my name servers. So I'm gonna copy, I'm just gonna copy one of them. I'll show you why. We're gonna need both, but they're very similar. So I'll just copy one, I'll show you why. I'm gonna now go point this domain to SiteGround. So we're gonna go to the registrar. The one I use is Technon Domains. I'm gonna log in there. And in here, I can manage my domains, and I'm going to find this one and click on it. This is very much like GoDaddy. I use one called Technon Domains. Same interface as GoDaddy's. And we want to manage the DNS, it's called Domain Name System. And this is where we're going to change the name servers from the old Blackwire server, where it was, to the new SiteGround server. Here's how that works. These are our custom name servers. There's the old ones. We want to change to the new ones. We're going to go like this. So in this interface, it's a little bit confusing, in my opinion. Um, we're not going to do any of these things. We don't have to connect to a website we built. We don't want to use the Technon Domains default servers. Um, we don't want to do any of this. We're just going to edit our name servers. That's all. We just want to do the simple thing. We don't need this much help. All we want to do is simply change the name server. So we're going to edit our name servers like this and paste in the one that I paste. Remember, I said I only got one of them. The reason why I did that is because the only difference between these two is the number two. So I can just go like this. And now we can save this. And yes, I know what I'm doing. Success. Okay, so now we've pointed the domain. We've still got the old website on the old server. We've now got a copy of that website on the new server. And in a few minutes, it's gonna change. It takes a few minutes for it to propagate. It used to take a couple of days. It doesn't take that anymore. Now it's five or 10 minutes. It should propagate. And here's one way to tell. If we take the domain that we're working with and copy this right here, I'm going to go to a place called dnswatch.info. This is really a geeky thing to do, but I like doing it and it's helpful. And we're going to see what domain or rather what server this domain is pointed to. See if it's resolved yet. Look at that. It's already pointing to SiteGround. So a few minutes ago, this would have said blackwire.com, uh, but it is pointed now. So we're good to go. So now when we visit our website, Assuming we have a fresh browser, we're going to see it on the new SiteGround server. Boom, there it is. Simple. That's how you move a website, a WordPress website, from an old server to a new SiteGround account. Now, here's a quick bonus section you may not need. It's a little bit advanced, but just in case you need this, this may help. If you run into a problem when you paste in your migration token, you get an error that says it's run out of memory. That's not uncommon, but it's really easy to fix. I'm going to show you how to do that. So if this happens for you, this is a real simple thing to do. SiteGround will take you to this page because this is a common issue um, when you're moving a WordPress site. It's actually complicated what it's doing behind the scenes, and so you have to sometimes make an adjustment. Here's what we're going to do. First of all, we need this special line of code here. It says define the WP memory limit. We need this right here. But what you do with this is a little bit complicated or a little bit advanced, but I'm going to show you how to do it and then it will be easy for you because when you know how, it's easy. So I'm copying this. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. What happens is when the migrator tried to move the website, it ran out of memory. So we just have to increase the size of that memory on the old server. It's real easy to do if you go into the old accounts cPanel right, or control panel. You can also do this with FTP, but I think it's easier for most people to do this with the file manager in cPanel. So we're going into the old server where the website is, we're going to the file manager, and we're gonna look inside the public HTML folder where this WordPress site was stored. So once inside the public HTML folder, what we wanna do is we wanna go down to a file called the WP config. I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna click edit in file manager, because we're gonna paste that code into this file. So I'll click edit. Now I've already put it in here, um, but I'll show you what it looks like and where it is right down here. I pasted that line right here to find the WP memory limit to 512 megs. Now it's very important that you put it here right above the line that says that's all stop editing. You don't want to edit anything below this line. So this will go right in here. Now you might not have the rest of this stuff, but and that's okay if you don't. But in order to increase the memory limit, if you get that error, you would paste that code here. And then you would, of course, save this file, go back, 
and do it again. And that fixes it. That increases the memory size on the old server so that the migrator can collect all that data and has room to work, so to speak. And then it doesn't have any problem packing it up and moving it to the new SiteGround server. So if you need the help, that is how you fix that problem if it arises.